imagine it was a general or somebody that made a mistake in shooting that drone down. And fortunately, that drone was unarmed. It was not — there was no man in it, and there was no — it was just — it was over international waters, clearly over international waters. I think they made a mistake. And I'm not just talking to co — the country made a mistake. I think that somebody under the command of that country made a big Are mistake. So what might that man in the White House do now? Will Donald Trump retaliate? Let's talk to David Smith in Washington for us. Uh, David, what do you think? Uh, what's Trump's next step today? First thing to say is there's a uh, dramatic report in the, uh, the New York Times in the last few hours suggesting that uh, Donald Trump did indeed um, give the go-ahead for some sort of uh, military strike, and it went as far as planes being in the air, but then for unexplained reasons, um, it was called off and uh, no missiles were fired. Um, but uh, in the evening of uh, Thursday in, in Washington, um, there was an expectation of some sort of retaliation, probably targeting uh, Iranian radar and uh, other installations. Um, the Washington Post is, uh, also has a report on that. Um, so evidence seems to be accumulating and um, it's unclear whether, why that uh, attack, if true, was called off and, and whether it might, uh, it might still go ahead after apparently intense debate um, among uh, national security staff and the, the White House, um, some arguing that it's really become time to uh, punish Iran for its various uh, incursions over the past uh, week or so, and then others warning of the threat to U.S. military forces in the region if, if this goes ahead. And it, it kind of um, symbolizes a, a day of mixed signals where uh, some have been uh, calling for an escalation and uh, uh, at the same time, Donald Trump himself uh, apparently playing it down, at least in his uh, public remarks. Yeah, certainly mixed rhetoric then coming out um, of the White House, but it's not just um, Donald Trump that we need to be listening to, is it? There's also uh, Democrats on the Hill that have been speaking. Give us a sense uh, elsewhere in the Senate. Is there pressure uh, to act from Democrats and Republicans? It now seems to be breaking down across uh, partisan lines, um, not for the first time um, when events happen in Washington. Um, Republicans are uh, being quite uh, strong in their calls for uh, some kind of response to Iran. Uh, Lindsey Graham, uh, always something of a hawk in the Senate, uh, talking about uh, the need uh, to inflict uh, pain and the pain that Iran should uh, feel. Um, Tom Cotton, another senator, has talked about uh, bombing Iran, and, and Republicans are being pretty robust in their demands. But um, as so often, uh, Democrats uh, taking an entirely different stand. Uh, Chuck Schumer, the uh, minority leader in the Senate, uh, used the word uh, bumbling, the, the danger of uh, America bumbling into some kind of uh, military confrontation that would spiral out of control. And Nancy Pelosi, the House Speaker, uh, warning against uh, reckless uh, conduct. Uh, Democrats really very suspicious of this administration, uh, suggesting it's manufacturing a crisis here and demanding um, that the administration explain itself to Congress to authorize uh, war.